how many of you face issues while writing paragraphs while writing emails while writing blogs we do face a lot of issues with respect to grammatical errors and spelling mistakes right now how python can help us now this video is going to be especially for that we will be talking about one of the libraries which will help us to rectify our grammatical errors let's get started guys <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm back. This is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on Ginger IT. So it's going to be one of the libraries, one of the uh, libraries which is basically prepared for correcting spelling and grammatical mistakes based on the context of complete sentences. Now, most of you might not aware of it, might, might not be aware of it. Ginger IT or Ginger It is basically a product of Ginger software. Now, Ginger software is very similar to Grammarly not pretty sure uh, what are the functionalities it provides, but it also provides a free extension of Google Chrome as well. So if you want to install it on Chrome, if you want to write something on the go, you can easily sort down your spelling mistakes and all those things. But uh, in case you want to make help of uh, a Pythonic code or a Pythonic approach where you want to solve the grammatical errors, then probably you can use the Python library, which is present ginger it okay now how it works i have already created a very small flask web application kind of thing which will accept a sentence or a paragraph and it will rectify the mistakes and give you the output okay now before that let's try to understand about ginger it now to install ginger it obviously you will have to do a pip install ginger it pip install ginger it Okay, once your installation is done, I have already installed it. So once your installation is done, you can probably export it like this from gingerit.gingerit import gingerit. Okay, and let's say I have provided my text as I love you. I have already run this code, but probably I will run it again. So if I just run it, you can see that this is my text. My input text is I L V Y U. Now, obviously I mean, I love you, but uh, my text has a lot of mistakes, right? So you can see the result. The result shows me the correct result. It shows me, I love you. In case you want to print something else, I am going to the market. Okay, let's try to run this and see if it is able to correct it or not. You can see it has, it has successfully rectified the mistake. I am going to the market. Now, this is how Ginger it works. If you want to know more about it, you can probably go uh, go inside the library, uh, their base code, and probably have a look at it, how it works. Okay, so I will just move ahead to the web application part. So in the web application part, now, because we already know that all my videos are end to end, like in case you are building something, some fun project or something, so it should be end to end. It shouldn't be a standalone code. That is the reason why I usually convert my codes to Flask APIs or Zango APIs or probably using Streamlit functions and all those things. So I have simply called my Flask. I hope everybody is aware about Flask. In case you are not aware of Flask, how Flask works, you can go through my channel. There are some uh, deployment related playlists in my channel you will definitely learn a lot about Flask in those videos. It's a dedicated 30 to 40 minutes of video, which will be like easily, you can easily understand that. Okay, let's get started. So I have imported the libraries. I have in I have initiated my Flask here, underscore name underscore. This is how a Flask application is initiated. Then I have created a route function, created a route function. As we already know that we create route functions so that we can redirect our application. Now, if I provide it as slash hello, so that will be something like uh, my IP colon port slash hello. Now, if we go to this location, then we will be able to use this piece of code. Okay, I'm just using the by default location. So I have provided slash. If method is get, then I'm rendering index HTML. If you want to see how index HTML looks like, this is how the index HTML looks like. Obviously, it, it will not be visible properly because it is extending layout.html. And if you see how layout.html looks like, uh, it is difficult to 
uh, explain you, but yeah, once our application will be live, you will have a better understanding. Okay, so I'm just rendering my template. Else, if not request uh, requested form sent, then I'm rendering it to slash. Then I already have a app dot route function here, sent correct. That means if something is sent correct, we will be redirecting to sent underscore correct. Okay. If you want to know more about it, you can see the index.html. I have this div function where here the action is sent correct. So anything that is sent from the application from the UI part, then by default, this function is called. Okay. If your request that method is post, then here I'm taking the text from the request.form. So I in my UI, I have a request.form. From that, I'm taking the input. Here I'm calling the gingerate function, gingerate library or gingerate method, you can say. And here I am just passing the result. As you can see that our output is, it's a JSON format file, right? So we just have to capture the result part. So here I'm capturing the result part. I'm storing it in result. So this is this result is basically this result. Okay, this result is nothing but it's a variable. So this result I am passing when I am returning it. Return render template index to HTML. Here I am passing the output one equals to result. If I go back to the index to HTML, so here you can see output one. One second. Okay, here you can see this is my output. This is my output form. Okay, and in this form I am passing the output. So that is it. Very simple. Uh, very simple application. Uh, and let's see how this works. I will probably run this code. Invalid syntax, something is wrong. Okay. Now it's run. Obviously debug mode is off. We don't need to turn on the debug mode. 127.0.0.1 colon 5000. If you, if you want to run, you can also use localhost colon 5000. Okay. And of course, everybody knows about the basic things that if you want to turn on the, uh, if you want to specify the IP import, you can also specify it here. Let's say 5050 and debug equals to true. All these things can be done. Okay. So I will just ignore it and I will open localhost 5000. So this is how the application looks like very simple application. It's a very fun project just meant for fun activities. Uh, and then it is just just created to create awareness, awareness about ginger IT uh, uh, library, which is very helpful and it can be used, especially when it comes to NLP related areas. Uh, I have seen a lot of corpuses, a lot of uh, data where we do have a lot of spelling mistakes as well. And rectifying the spelling mistake is a headache task, right? So we can definitely use these libraries and rectify it. So, so these are the, you know, I have already run this uh, Flask code a lot of times. That is the reason it is showing some of the ideas. But yeah, I can just type in, I love you. And this is how the output looks like. It is correcting. Uh, probably randomly also, I can pick some uh, sentence. Hey, Satyajit here. How are you? I haven't tested it on uh, paragraphs, but uh, on uh, standalone lines, it is working fine. But we can do something like this. Uh, I am, I am do good. No, let's say I am, I am doing good. How are you? Oh, oh, it has actually, I have shift entered. So it refreshed the page. I'm doing good. How are you? Uh, I hope everything is good. Uh, these are two lines, right? So we'll see how it works. So I'm doing good. How are you? I hope everything everything is good. Okay, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. Obviously, there would be some here and there as well. There would it cannot be 100% correct, right? So, but you can see that basically most of the things it's working fine. I know little English. I know little English. Uh, spelling mistakes works like amazingly good. Correction. Correction. Uh, simple. 
simplicity. Simplicity. Uh, let's say uh, champagne. Let's say I don't know the spelling of champagne. Uh, sham. It, basically, the spelling is this, but let's say champagne. I'm not pretty sure uh, if it will work or not because it's champion. It's det detecting as champion. But yeah, this is how this uh, application works. You can take this code. I will just upload this code quickly, uh, maybe in next five, 10 minutes. The code will be available to you in the description below or else in the pinned comment. And a lot of uh, new stuffs coming in. I also have some uh, announcements to make. Uh, probably I'll not make this announcement in this particular video, but just a hint, there are multiple things coming up. There are some giveaways, there are some text-to-speech and speech-to-text related uh, courses, free courses coming on to my channel. Uh, just uh, in case you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon to get notified, like my videos and share the videos among uh, your friends and your colleagues and as much as possible. That's it, guys. That's, a, that's it for today's video. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.